So as I was saying last time, thank you all so much for a thousand subscribers. It means the world to me. I mean, wait, um, uh, to uh, Jerry, 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 you hit two thousand. Bring your royalty for ukulele. Bring all of them. Bring every single royalty for ukulele you can find. <laughs> Okay, that was horrible. I'm never uh, layering five audio tracks together again. But thank you all so much. It means the world to me. And welcome back to Arc Survival Evolved Max Speed. Alright, what is going on, people of the internet? And welcome back to another episode of Arc Survival Evolved Max Speed. And this time we we're looking at the Dung Beetle. And now this is a non mountable creature. And with that, it means that we're going to have to summon in a level 1 million. I don't like it either. Maybe I do. I don't know. It's really entertaining to see level 1 millions one shotting Alpha Rexes, which the Dung Beetle actually can because. To the surprise of myself, and I'm sure many other people included, this thing is tanky for being such a small creature. It just feels like the Dilophosaurus is so out of place right now for being as weak as it is. And the fact that you can get both the Dung Beetle and the Dimetrodon, which maybe they're not quite as fast as the Dilophosaurus. In fact, they might be. But these creatures that are kind of comparable sizes, I mean, the Dung Beetle is certainly smaller. Uh, you see we got two here, one 100 and one 120 that I spawned on purpose, but the 100 was a bit of an accident, I meant to spawn it at 120, but whatever. We'll see how these two attack in pairs, so. It's gonna be pretty cool. The Dung Beetles actually have a surprisingly high amount of health, they have 1300, and the melee damage is only at about 300%, which, ever since the nerf, is actually not that bad of a roll, but before that it would be terrible, so. We're gonna look at these two, they're very shiny, they're very, very shiny, and uh, we're gonna summon in a... Actually, I think we're going to get these two to attack a trike first off, and you can see the dung beetles are not fast. And that is going to work against them quite a bit. They're not awful. They could definitely be worse. They're kind of comparable speeds to the Tatamanirna, whatever they're called. I have no idea. I never learned to pronounce them, so I just kind of do the thing that, you know, Slipgator would always do and just go Tatamanirna or whatever he would do. So we got a level 40 trike here, and these are pretty, pretty early game targets for players, so we'll see whether or not the uh, the Dung Beetles in pairs of two perfect tamed can stand up to the trike. Now you can see on land they're getting ragdolled around, but as soon as the trike makes a mistake of going into the water, it's kind of funny because it looks like the Dung Beetles can actually stay with it and the knockback doesn't affect them as much as in the water. You can see here, the trike's sitting in the Dung Beetle, but he's actually not getting tossed that far back. And that means that the Dung Beetles can get more hits on the trike more frequently. So it almost seems like these guys are a water attacker and due to the fact that they're not mountable, they have infinite stamina. So maybe, just maybe, these things might be viable, you know, water targeting mounts. Or ones that you can take across a river without worry of mega piranhas or, you know, surprise swimming carnos or something. I don't really know how ARC works, but uh, I don't think anybody does. It's a bit of a strange game. Hopefully we'll see a bit of consistency sooner or later, but for the most part it's pretty entertaining right now. So we're going to see this trike get back straight into a corner and all of a sudden one spawns like right beside it I don't even know what happens it might come out from behind the rock on the right you see here but it just sort of appears and I don't remember how that exactly happened yeah there perfect boom it just kinda spawned in and for that reason they take out one of the dung beetles and the second one actually gets taken out too and I blame the second trike because you can see here just how low health this other guy is I punch him once on stock melee damage and it kills it that is, it just, it was so close to death that any one, like, it could, the Dung Beetle could have stepped on that trike and it would have died. But anyway, we're going to summon a level 1 million, because clearly, if those two couldn't defeat a trike, I really have doubts that they could defeat an Alpha Rex. So, we're going to summon in this 1 million right here, we're going to forest him at 1.5, and then we're going to summon in a Alpha T-Rex at level 100. And, of course, I'm going to draw the fire away so he doesn't get the knockback on him. And you can see here, just the kind of damage this thing does to a 100 Alpha Rex pretty much a one shot so the dung beetle right here we're gonna have oh he's kind of edging away from me right here but I'm gonna get him to follow me we're gonna go ahead and add his levels now unfortunately unlike the Dimetrodon it does not get the amazing five percent or not the Dimetrodon the compi it doesn't get the amazing five times movement speed bonus and as a result it's not as fast on land in the water, of course, this thing is basically a lightning bolt, but that is due to the fact that it has oxygen to spare, and it could probably live the rest of its life underwater with the amount of oxygen that it has, and it would be perfectly fine. But anyway, uh, the reviews for the Far Cry video are in, and it's pretty positive, so I'll read out a couple of them to you now. So we got, I actually couldn't stop laughing, winky face. We got, uh, I love this, also, just realized how much Far Cry is like Ark, lol. So, you know, it's like Ark, give it a chance, please, please. I I'm so proud of it, I worked so hard on it. Uh, we got, this was hilarious, XD, 
And we got, uh, this is the best thing ever. I watched it two times, so thank you. I really appreciate that. And I love it. Good old I love it. But, yeah, I worked really hard on that video. It took me, like, eight hours to script the whole thing and then write the, the whole thing. And, you know, so please do give it a chance. I really am proud of that video. Like, I, I, I spent so much time. And I remember having to go around the entire map looking for a tiger to maul me. And it took me at least half an hour of just searching. I was in primal tiger hunting area and they just would not come to attack me and I couldn't get that one three second shot I needed so we got compies here I don't know what they're trying to prove against a level 1 million dung beetle I guess they're still trying to think that they're like the number one following creature but anyway that's gonna do from us thanks for watching this was a very shiny dung beetle but uh, we'll see you in the next episode of Arc Survival Evolved or whatever we make peace island pirates are a pack creature and like to travel in packs of anywhere between two to five men this is because their hide provides little protection from wildlife such as tigers, sharks, buffalo, and nearly every other creature on the island, as well as bullets and explosions. Well, look how many name tags there are, and they're just in there staring at you with this blank stare on their eyes, but it's okay, because no matter how much hate is built up for these dodos after the process of trying to tame all of them, there is one king among them.